What's going on YouTube? This is Dark Lord Destro. I would like to redo the video, the three videos that I did earlier today. And the reason why was when I went to uh, play it back, I noticed that my screen capture did not show you the menus. When, it, when I was editing the Dan Marino, when I was showing the uniforms, I went back and I looked at it and realized it didn't show that. So I want to redo it. What I'm going to do is show you everything within one video instead of breaking it down within uh, each video. So I'm going to show you the uniforms. I'm going to show you how to put 20 guys on the team. And then I will show you the offline mode. All in one video. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is the uniforms. Alrighty. As you can see, you have the dragons up there. So you know we have the dragons on that team. So what I'm going to do is insert my flash drive inside the Xbox and I'm going to save but of course before we do all that always remember that you want to make sure you have your auto save turned off okay you want to make sure your auto save is turned off and if it's not turn it off and then from that point just go to your save settings and then save your settings so every time it goes to load up it loads up your settings and your auto save will be turned off Occasionally, you gotta turn it. You gotta go on auto save and check it because now and then, you know, this game acts weird and it'll turn it back on. But for the most part, it stays off. But that's something that you have to monitor. Okay. Now, let's go to options. And what I'm gonna show you right now is how to save a uniform into your into the uniform database within the editor. But also, I'm gonna show you how to change uniform as well. So here we go. So. Whatever uniform you're designing, you don't have, it doesn't have to be a regular roster. You can just throw any team together and just create a uniform for them. But regardless of that, once you've created the uniform, then you want to save the roster onto your flash drive, as you see me doing right now. Then I'm going to take the flash drive to the Xbox. Okay. Now, close that out. I'm gonna open that up. Okay, this point doesn't matter, just say no when it comes to uniforms. Okay, then I select the Dragons team. All right, now from this point, all I have to do is go over to Team. So I select the Team tab. Okay, then you'll come to this screen. Right here, this is where the uniform uh, database or editor is. Okay, now you'll see that this is grayed out. You can't do anything, there's no drop down menu. There's a blue folder, and under in red letters, red words. Upload current uniform to enable drop down. Alrighty, so since I have the dragons and that's the uniform that I want to install inside the editor, what I want to do now is click on the blue folder. Then it's going to ask me, okay, what do you want to name the jersey? So in this case, put DC Dragons. And like I said, this is where you can, you can uh, type in what you want to call these uniforms. Okay, so I call these the DC Dragons regular uniforms. So I hit OK. Now it says, would you like to upload a, a uniform picture? This is optional. If you do decide to upload a picture, the picture has to be in a .png format. Uh, .jpg will not work, so make sure that it's in a .png format. Okay, either way it's optional. In this case, I'm going to say no. Okay. Once you say no, now it's programmed to where an automatic, uh, or a, a generic picture will appear in a spot. And as you can see right here, it says DC Dragons regular uniforms. Okay? That's how you save your uniform into the uniform database. Now, if you, let's say you want to change uniform, now just go over here to the Dropbox menu. As you can see, all the uniforms that I have inside my uh, database 
it's all set ready to go for you okay all you gotta do is select one so let's do I don't know uh, Redskins all burgundy from 2009 okay so what I do is I select it and then you'll see it'll still say it's DC Dragons but as long as you go on the drop down menu and select it as you can see right here I select the Washington Redskins all burgundy I click on it it's just an error that the, that the game does so then hit save okay now you want to go back to the Xbox go to options load save load flash drive load and look at it now the dragons have the redskins uniforms alright and as you can go through teams manage dragons edit team see they got the redskins uniforms look at that see redskin uniforms so that is how you save the uniforms into the editor, and also that's how you change uniforms within the editor, okay? All right, now the next step is we're going to show you how to have all eight uh, players into the, I'm sorry, all 20 guys into the team, okay? Now, what I say when it comes to hexing is that when it comes to creating any teams you want to make sure you have a plan what do you want to do before you get started have a plan know what you're going to do before you get started don't go along as you go because then you'll get confused you'll get mixed up and therefore you might get into a situation where you have to start over all over again and you don't want to do that so let me just do something real quick for this purpose only here let's see uh, Just real quick here, and I'll get back to what I was talking about. All right, now what we want to do is we want to create. Well, actually, I've already created all twenty players. So before you get started, you want to create your twenty players. Now keep in mind this: if you're creating a team, let's say an NFL team, either uh, um, current team or uh, team from the past. What I like to do when I create my guy, my teams, I reserve the twenty spots, the twenty created team or twenty created players for players' names that are not in the game. So if you're so if a player's not in the if his name's not in the game, I make hit I make the created team uh, the player for his for him. Okay, so twenty created players are for people whose names are not in the game. Now, if your name is in the game name database, then I can do two things. I can either put a legend on my team and then reprogram him to be uh, a real guy, or I can just take a generic guy and change his name to a real guy. So let's say someone like Robert Griffin or Tony Romo or Terrell Owens or um, I don't know, I can't think of a name right now, but the name is in the database you can change a legend player or a generic. It is entirely up to you. Okay. Now, how we get twenty put how do you get all twenty created players onto a team? Here we go. So we're gonna do the team manage dragons. Okay? So edit team. As you can see I've got eleven of the twenty guys, credit guys already on my team. Okay? So let's go, save the roster, onto the flash drive. Okay. Okay, now we go back to the screen. So on your TV set, leave it on the screen. Now take your flash drive over to your computer. Close this out. 
one thing, keep in mind, always you always want to close out your uh, file and start over when you open it because you don't want any errors. You don't want any errors, and then you forget stuff, and then you make a mistake during the hexing process. Since this is for online purposes, I'm going to say no because the whole goal is to create teams and still have it work online. Alrighty. Now, we go to the Dragons. Okay, now as you can see, the Dragons team that I have on the flash drive, on our roster file, it's right here. Now, just for a hot second, I want you to go back to this screen here. Okay, so right now on your TV screen, you should have this as a guide. Have this screen on your TV, and at the same time, you also want to work on your laptop. Excuse me, go back to the game here, or the editor. Alrighty, now you want to go back to this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all my silver and bronze players into golds. So as you look at uh, Broderick Oakenshield, I'm going to change him to a gold. Okay, what you're doing right now is just you're trying to make room to place the other credit players on your team. Okay. So I change him from a silver to the gold, as you can see. I do the same thing to Cedric Trevelyan player. Change him from a silver to a gold. Ambush. I should I shouldn't mess with Ambush. He's already gold. So let me cancel out of this when it loads up. Cancel. Let's go to Greg Corky. Remember, all you're doing here is changing their tiers from silver to gold and from bronze to gold. Because what you're doing is you're trying to make room for the other players, that the other nine created players. I'm just changing them from bronze to gold. It looks like I have two more people to change. Alrighty, so now we have changed all the silver players and all of the bronze players, we have changed them into uh, gold players. Now, just give me one second, I gotta plug my laptop in. Sorry about this. Okay, now that I'm back in the, back in work, all right, so we've changed all the silvers and all the bronze players into golds. Now we wanna do is save the roster file. Okay, now we take the, uh, take the flash drive from the laptop to the Xbox. Alrighty. Now we want to load up the roster file. Okay, now as you can see, the silver spots are open and the bronze spots are open. Now you're probably trying to figure out, well, where are the gold, where are those other players? They're all golds, okay? Let's go back for one second and I will show you where they are. So you have a question, now see all those golds and there's no silvers and there's no bronzes 
Now watch, all goals. That's one way to look at it. Also go to teams, manage teams, go to that particular team, go to depth chart, you'll see them. There you go, they're all on your team, okay? Now, go back to teams. You wanna go to manage teams? You wanna go to dragons or whatever team you're using? Edit team? Okay, now, like I said, you've got those three silver spots that are free and you have those six bronze spots that are free. Now you wanna fill those up with those other credit guys. So here we go. Okay. As you can see, now I have all 20 guys on the team. One great way to know for sure, for certain that you have all 20 guys on your team is to go to teams. Go down to edit player. Okay. When you get to the created player screen, remember, this game allows you 20 created players, okay? Now, if you look on the top of the screen, see to the left of the player's name, you see their position. In this case, it's halfback. Look to the left of that. You'll see the logo. That's the logo of the, um, of the Redskins team that I have, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll real fast through each player as I'm doing that. I'm keeping my eye on that logo, and this will let me know if the player is on the team. If I scroll through here and I see it disappear on, on a particular player, that tells me that that player was not placed on the team, and I need to go back and, re and do those steps again that I just did. So here we go. Now we go opposite direction. Okay, what I just did there is I made sure that every player that is in this section here, every created player, all 20 created players are on the team. And I did so by, as I was scrolling through, my eyes were staring at that logo to make sure that it was solid. If it would have, you know, disappeared, that would let me know that that particular player was not on the team. Alrighty, now, let's go back options when I save the roster onto the flash drive Remember, it is for offline, I'm sorry, it's for online purposes only. So you want to hit no. Okay. So the dragons. Alrighty. Now, before I get started, let me change these uniforms back to the dragons. As you can see, it says NFL Washington Redskins, all burgundy. It lets you know that that's what uniforms they have at the, at the present time. So let's click on this. And let's go actually let's go to a different let's choose Titans. Alrighty. Now go back to players. Now, as you can see, it has all twenty players on the team. They all have their tiers. Okay. Now, this is where out of those 20 credit players, you must 
change none of them into generics. Remember, the game only recognizes 10 or 11 stars. If you have 9 or less stars or 12 or more stars on a team, the game is going to freeze. The Xbox will freeze up on you if you try to start a game. And you don't want that because depending on how far you, you are from the Xbox, you got to get up off your couch and turn it, off, turn it off, turn it back on again, and load everything back up. You want to avoid that. So always remember, you must have either 10 or 11 stars, not 9 or less, not 12 or more. Okay? Something else during that process I just showed you about how I was changing guys' tiers and then I made more room to add more guys. You can keep doing that with the with the legend players until you fill up all 42 spots because the whole point of it look at it like musical chairs when you play as a little kid the music's playing and everyone's you know running around the, the chairs and then when the music stops you gotta hurry up and get a seat and there's usually someone that gets left out okay same look at it, it's almost the same deal it's like process of elimination so that steps that i just did with the creative players you can do the same thing with legend players, you can say, you know what, I'm going to add some legend players. And you will have to do that in cases if you're creating teams from uh, from back in the day. You know, you take, like, for example, the 89 49ers, they've got 11 players in this game alone. And so what I did was I had to take a combination of created players along with the 11 legend players that were in the game already. And all I had to do was repeat the steps what I just did. I put them on a team changed their tier, made room for more players. I kept doing that until all the created guys was on the game, on my team, and all the 11 guys from the 49ers was on the team, and then I go to this step right here. Alrighty. Now, make sure we're good here. Alrighty. Good stuff. Alright, now, so in this case, I have 20 players. I need to change nine of them to generics. So I'm just going to change some of these uh, goals into generics. So, so from gold to none, okay? Gold to none. Once again, keep in mind, this does not reflect, this does not change the stats whatsoever. So, what your, the guys I created them as, that's what they are originally. Okay? I have not done anything to the stats. The only thing I've done is change the color of the star, basically. Once again, you must have 11 stars only. 10 or 11. Okay, so now I have a total of 11 stars, 2 golds, plus 3 silvers equals 5, plus 6 bronze equals 11. So I have 11 stars on the team. Okay, something else I want to show you before we continue. Alrighty. Now, of course, you have all these generic players. Now, if you're replicating the NFL, as I was saying, you can either... Reprogram these guys, or you can take legend guys onto your team. But regardless of that, if the name is in the database, you can change them. So let's say, for example, let's say uh, this fullback. Okay. Can't think of a fullback, the popular fullback right now. So I remember back in the day, the Redskins had a fullback in the mid and late 90s. Actually, late 90s, he turned into a halfback named Stephen Davis. So, just for example here, you can type in Stephen. 
Okay, you should select him, hit OK. Then click on this box here for his last name. Davis. Okay. As you can see, it changed his name from whatever generic name was of DeMarco Edgman. Now I've changed it to Stephen Davis. Okay. Remember, for online purposes, you can't type this in manually like you can with offline. You got to use these boxes because you have to use names that are in the database of the, of the game itself. Also, on a side note, there are four names that you cannot use for guys on offense. Last name Thompson, last name Feltz, last name Calake, and last name Hankton. Those are the four last names that I know of in this game that if you have an offensive player with that, with that last, with those, one of those four last names, the game will freeze on you. So you want to avoid having, you know, those, uh, those names. Okay, Feltz, Calake. Hankton and Thompson. Okay, remember those four. Alrighty. Now I had accept. As you can see, now I've changed his name to Steven Davis. So this is what you want to do. So when you're creating an NFL team and you still want to use it online, you can say, hey, you know what? I don't need to create a Tony Romo. I don't need to create a Terrell Owens. I don't need to create a Miles Austin or you know create whoever. Now I can just change the generic name and then I can boost his, you know, stats, height, weight, whatever, all that stuff. And then it will reflect the real guy. Alrighty. Another thing, another side note is that if you happen to use legends that are in the game and you implement them on your team, always remember that they got to have a legend face. Okay. Always. So even if you decide to take a, a, a legend player and then you put him on a team and you change them to and you change his first and last name to, to a name that's in the database let's say you change him from a white dude to a black dude as long as he has his face he's fine because if he does not have if a legend player does not have a face a legend face on him what's going to happen is you'll go on to this uh, game and you'll have a distorted face and it looks nasty, and the pixels and everything, it looks like, we call it the elephant man, or the elephant face. You know, his eyeball, one eyeball will be up on, up on his neck, and one will be, well, down on his neck, and one be on his forehead. You don't want that. Ears all over the place, like he uh, smoked crack all night. You don't want that. And so, make sure that if it's a legend player, that he has a legend face. When it comes to created players, or generic, uh, generic players, they don't need to have a face. You can put a legend face on them, but it won't. If you take it off, it won't do anything. But if it's a true legend player, if it's originally a legend player, he must have a legend face on there, or else he will have the elephant face. Okay, now we're back to where I was at. All right, as I said before, we've now determined that we have 11 stars on the team. Okay, so we're going to save it. Alrighty, now we're going to go back to the Xbox. Okay, we're going to load up the file. Alrighty, as you see, I changed the uniforms. And if you look, I only have 11 stars on the team. Two golds, three silvers, six bronzes. Okay? Also, you go to teams, go to manage, go to dragons, go to uh, depth chart. As you can see, I changed those two from whatever star they were, changed to, to a non-star. Okay? Remember, I also changed the name of that generic player from whatever he was to Stephen Davis. As you can see, look, it worked. Stephen Davis. Okay, remember, as long as his name is in the game, you can change his name, change the name of a generic or legend player. Also, I forgot to mention this, you're also able to make a last name a first name and a first name a last name. Now, a good example 
There's a Redskin player back in the day named Raleigh McKenzie. I can never create him because they have like McKenzie as a first name and not a last name in his game. But now with this editor, I'm able to change a lineman name from whatever to Raleigh McKenzie. The same thing with Marion uh, Marion Jones. Now in this game, Marion is a last name, but it's not a first name. And so when I reprogrammed uh, for my 2007 Cowboys, I changed the, the the generic player from whatever to Marion Jones. All I did was took the last name Marion, made his first name, and Jones as usual. So it does not matter. It's vice versa. You can use last names for first names, and first name is last names. Okay. Now, just flipping through here, I know I have 11 players. Alrighty. Now, once I start the game, and this is how you determine if I start this game, this game freezes up on me. 99.9% .9 of the time is because I have more than I have 12 or more stars, or I have nine or less stars. So let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, the game works. And that's because I have 11 guys, 11 stars on the team. I'm going to play for a little bit and we'll show you uh, something here in a shortly. Okay, remember what I was telling you all about how the color of the star or the, does not, you know, I changed it, but it does not reflect the, the stats. Now everyone knows, especially if you're in the SFL, you know that Richard Snowden was a gold running back. You know what a gold can do. Now as you can see, there's no star under him at all. So he's considered generic. Okay, now watch this. Number 25 takes it across the line of Try it again. Picks up a couple. As you see, can a generic player do that? Zach Zuli, he had, he, look, he used to be a bronze. He has quick release for his uh, ability, okay? But he has no star. But watch his throwing motion. Watch his throwing motion, and you'll see he still has a uh, quick release. Okay? Notorious Revan, all he had, he was a bronze receiver. All he had was deep there. And you see he caught the ball. Alrighty. Yeah, he's a generic. He's, he's been turned into a generic, but his numbers still reflect. Oh, my screen just tore a little bit. But he still reflects a bronze player. So whatever stats he has, that's what he's going to have. It does not matter. One thing guys get caught up in is, that, oh, well, he's this and that. Well, you can have a whole goal, all 42 players, goals type of stats. But then if I change the colors to all bronze and, and the generics all have uh, gold numbers, and all I did was change the non-stars, then it doesn't matter. The color of the star does not matter in the day. Okay? The only thing the machine understands is you've got 11 stars. You know, or 10 stars. Like I said, it can be all 11 golds, it can be half golds, half silvers, all bronze, all silvers, it does not matter. Okay? Now, let's get out of here.
All right, what I'm about to show you right now is how to use this game or create rosters in offline mode. Okay, what I want to do is use the SFL teams. One thing, as I always say before, is make sure that your auto save is turned off. And then you save your settings to ensure that it is turned off. So every time you load the game up, the settings will load and it will be off for the most part. Now, before you do offline mode, remember is that you must have all eight teams created. This is why I chose this file because I already have this like my this was my basic file before I started hexing for the SFL. So I know I have all eight teams created. So you must do the same because Havo put a, a fail safe inside the editor because there were issues with people on creating one or two or three teams and then it became the hexing, they're having errors. So the best way to avoid that is to put a, a you know something inside the editor that says, hey, if you want to do this offline mode, you must have all eight teams created. Okay? So, after you create your eight teams, save the roster. No. Hold on, let me sure I double check this. Sometimes I get paranoid and I like to say stuff uh, you know, more than once. Okay, now let's go back to the computer, take the flash drive back to the, to the laptop. Alrighty. Okay, now we're going to load up the file from your flash drive. This time I'm going to ask you, rebuild roster file for offline mode. You're going to say yes. It'll ask you one more time. Are you sure? This will reconstruct the roster for offline use only. Say yes. Want you Before you do this, make sure that you want it offline because once you hit this, this is a point of no return. It will reconstruct your entire roster file for offline purposes only and you won't be able to use this same roster file for online. So make sure that it's for offline. Okay, hit yes. Okay. Of course, these eight spots right here are your created teams. Now, the great thing about offline mode is you can pretty much change any player to any name you want. Let's click Dan Marino, for example. Okay, now we have Dan Marino right here. Okay, now just like the online version, you can still, you know, change all these features here. The difference is when it comes to this part, now these boxes are grayed out because now we don't need those boxes because all you got to do is just type in whatever name you want. So let's call him James Bond. Okay, so James, the first name, Bond. Okay. If I want to change his play-by-play -play name, if I want to change his photo, that's fine. But once again, let's go back to what I said a few minutes ago. If he's a true legend player, he must have a legend face. If he was originally a legend player, he must have a legend's face or he'll have the elephant man. A generic player, you can put a legend face and then turn, take it off of him. It won't bother. It won't do anything. However, if he was originally a legend player, he must have... A legend face at all times. No matter what kind of legend face it is, no matter the skin complexion, he must have a legend face, or he will get the electric, or not the electric, the elephant uh, face. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is just change his name. Okay, the James Bond. And I'm going to hit accept. Okay. And you can do this throughout your whole team. And your um. And you just go through each line. All these generic players, you can change their names. You can see, take this guy, you know, Roderick Kidd. Okay, you can change his name to Joe Blow. Okay, then hit accept. Okay, now his name is Joe Blow. 
That's the great thing about creating a off creating a roster for offline because you're not limited to using the game names database because the only thing you're creating this team these these offline mode is for a league you know if you want to play amongst yourself or you know pass it around to your friends who just want to play offline you know there's there's guys who just play offline they rather have NF current NFL rosters and play offline than worry about playing fools on the line and so this is for them okay something else I want to uh, touch on is that I did in my earlier video the guys who want to create the NFL okay now what I would do and whichever however you want to do it is your eight teams okay your eight created teams I would say okay create the NFC East and the NFC West with those eight teams created teams then with the remaining 24 computer teams just make that the rest of the league and what's great about the uniform editor is that now you can go into the computer teams and you can change their uniforms. Now, let's say, for example, let's take these werewolves here, okay? The computer team, same concept. Well, let's do a different team. To the Sharks. Go to the tab. You'll see that uh, their uniform drop down menu is unavailable. Because the way this works is you have to basically have to upload their roster. I'm sorry, you have to upload their uniform before you can change it. So you just go in here, click on this blue folder, type in blah, 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 whatever. Hit OK. Say no. Then the drop-down menu is available. Scroll down. And you can say, OK, let's give these guys the Indianapolis 1995 blue pants uniforms. OK. Click on it. Done. Okay, these red dogs here. Okay, what about them? Let's go down here and let's give these guys uh, <clears throat> Miami Dolphins 2009 orange jerseys. Okay, you can do that. Go to, let's see another team. Okay, these top guns here. Okay. Alrighty. Give them the throwback uniforms. Okay, let's go to... Whoever the Minutemen or whoever. Minutemen, same thing. Click on S. Blah, blah, blah. Hit OK. No. And then go to the drop down menu and then select whatever. Okay, let's give these guys, I don't know, uh, Baltimore Ravens 20th anniversary uniforms, okay? See what I'm doing? And this is what guys are doing. They're using the uniform editor, and they'll create the uniforms. They'll put them inside the editor, and then they'll go into um, these computer teams, and they'll change every single team's uniforms to reflect the NFL teams. Okay? We're going to save it. Okay? Also, want to point out, I haven't done so, and you probably noticed there's no longer a need for Horizon. Remember, that was the program that you needed to rehash and resign it. And thankful, thankfully for Havo, there's no need for that. Every time it's saved, it's um, it's inside of it. It saves and it rehash and resign it. Simple. Okay, let's go back to the Xbox. Options. Whoops, I'm too fast as options. Load, load. Okay, as you can see, I changed Dan Marino's name to James Bond. Watch, teams, manage, storm, depth chart. Look at him, James Bond. Simple as that. Okay. Something else. Let's go back to the main thing there. Remember the computer teams that I changed the uniforms for? Let's go through them. See, I changed the Sharks into the um, New York Titans slash Jets throwback uniforms. Okay? 
I changed the Minutemen's jerseys to um, Baltimore Ravens. You see? So you can go through there and just do that step and just change everyone's uniforms and you'll be fine. Alrighty. Let's load the game up. I just want to show you something here. Hopefully there's no errors. Okay. Hold on. This should be fun. <laughs> it is hands. Okay, as you can see, those were the minute men. But all I did was change their uniforms and the editor to reflect the Ravens 50th or Ravens 20th anniversary uniform. Boots it downfield okay. and we're underway. Harris fields it way back at the eight. Three three. Stop at the 32. I apologize for the screen skipping. I don't know what's going on. It never does that, so I don't know if I got too much stuff running in the background. I have no idea, but it's going. Cool. That's what's happening. Um, basically, that's uh the gist of it. Now, there's other features I can go through when it comes to the editor. For example, you've got like, you know, your team, of course, your dev charts, you know, of course, it's all listed right here, the team that you've selected, you know, you can go the tools. Something else I want to show you is that this thing right here, the SFL settings, what that is, is, is it's a universal way of creating, of basically applying abilities. So let's say, for example... A guy that was originally a gold, I changed him into a bronze, what have you. So whatever tier he is, what you can do is use his apply SFL settings. So whatever tier he is, plus um, whatever tier he is, plus whatever abilities he has, then that's going to be applied. So instead of creating players, or actually instead of having to do all the, you know, abilities and all that stuff within the Xbox, you can come here on the editor and just do apply SFL settings and it will just do it for you. Um, something else down here, tools, options. Okay. Of course right here is that checkbox to where every time you save it, it'll all it'll always it'll automatically resign, rehash and resign it. Something that's important right here is right here that profile ID you want to make sure there are 16 zeros in that spot. And the reason why is because each roster file that you save on your, on your Xbox, it's attached to your profile. So let's say you gave me the roster file from your end and it does not have 16 zeros. It's going to have a different type of numbers. Those numbers are, are, are for you. They're your profile ID. Therefore, I can't use it, I can't use it under my ID. However, if you change those to 16 zeros, that means anyone can use your roster files. So make sure before you, when you're hacking, something I want to point out, make sure that says has 16 zeros so that you can be able to use or anyone can use the roster that you pass around. Okay? Of course, Havo has some detailed information about import IDs. I, I don't need to use that from what I need to do, but you might. So... Trying to think what else here. I haven't really done none of this stuff here. I haven't really had any interest in it. Team options. This part right here, you can reset your players to default settings. Then you go down to fill roster. This is basically the same as if you was actually creating the teams. You remember how it'll ask you, okay, what kind of quarterback you want? Do you want a pocket passer? Do you want a scrambler? Do you want a uh, balance? That's what this is here for. Okay, it's basically you're, re you're going back to the stuff you did with the Xbox, but without going by the Xbox. It's giving you those options. Okay? Also, in offline mode, click on the coach's headset logo right here, and you're able to change not only the name of the coach, but also you can change the picture as well. 
okay? Here, you can also change the run-pass ratio. Now, this only applies if you're running a simulation league like the SFL, okay? Because, you know, if you're playing human, if you're controlling the team, you pick whatever you want. But for simulation purposes, this is what you know, determines your rushing and your passing, okay? So you can change the name of the coach. Once you're done, you hit accept, and then his name. So let's say, okay, right here, I don't know. Change the go gives, and then you can change, I don't know. You change the coach, hit accept. So once again, guys are trying to replicate the NFL, they can go in here and change the coach's names and change his, uh, his pictures, well, change the, the, the likeness of the coach, and he's set. Okay? Alrighty. This is the Dart Lord Destro. I am out. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, please post them. I will talk to you dudes another time. Peace.